he's discussing now, the Messiah the Shem is discussing how a person has to reach the highest level of contemplation, which means he has to gain through a clear understanding through the Torah study, um, how to uh, really be careful to avoid doing wrong and, and to, uh, to push himself to do good. He says, It becomes clear to him how to become, to reach, uh, to come closer to perfection, to start doing good, and even with the good that he does do, he does it mushlam, complete. A person could do a mitzvah, but he did it hapshlap, he did it lazily. But even the mitzvah itself, he's even doing the mitzvah, but still, to do that mitzvah completely, to do it from A to Z, to go to do it with full content, full uh, to, to, to do it with happiness, with joy. You know, we have to do the mitzvah with joy. That reason says it's the highest level of the feeding the neshama, the feed the hida, the highest part of the neshama by doing the mitzvah with joy. He said everything I gain spiritually is through this that I did mitzvah with joy. So therefore, he says, "V'adai who shall eat olam la'mit me'elam mitzayim." A person once he becomes, he realizes the truth and he wants to do the right things right. He will not agree to go any less, and he'll try to do as much as he can. He says, It's already clear that he knows what things are going to detract from the service Hashem, what things are going to raise him in his avodah Hashem. So therefore, he will go and stay away from those that bring him down, and only bring him to those things that bring him up. Person will choose only to increase the mitzvot and do try to fill all the details of the mitzvot. There was a guy who used to tell his rabbi, Rabbi, give me the leniency. Can you give me uh, the, the other opinion? It's okay, I'll follow those some opinions. He says, no problem. After Shamayim, he went there and he said, here's your Olam Abba. They showed him a four by four. He said, this is my Olam Abba. He said, yes, according to some opinions, it's Olam Abba. So therefore, what this person was very lenient, so therefore, very lax in his Shmirat uh, mitzvot. so they were very, very uh, the same way with him. But a person who wants to do it right, he'll increase, he'll, he'll say, yes, it's okay, it's good, this is, this is what Hashem's will, I'm willing to do it, the, the according to the re- suffering is the reward. He'll not be uh, concerned or worried to do the mitzvah 100%. As long as they know and they're convicted, this is the right thing, and this is going to take them to the to the per, to their perfected state. This is going to bring them close to Hashem. Well, of course, uh, anything the mitzvah requires, I have to do, and I want to do it, and I'm not going to go and take it the wrong way. When do people say, "Oh, Rabbi, oh, come on, it's too strict. Give us a leniency." Is when they don't realize the greatness of the mitzvah and how they're coming close to the Kadosh Baruch Hu. They don't realize this is going to bring them to their perfected self. They think they're doing a favor to Hakadosh Baruch Hu. They think that, uh, okay, I'm willing to only go out of my way so much for Hakadosh Baruch Hu. But if a person is realizing he's doing a having a relationship with Hakadosh Baruch Hu, imagine you would go. How would you go to your wife? How would you go to your kids? How would you go to your coworker? How would you go to your partner? And you would tell them uh, the same way. Oh, okay, I'll do it for you. Oh, this is too much. What do you want from me? Person who really is a uh, is in a good relationship and he wants to show love to them, he'll go out of his way no matter what, bend over backwards for them to in order to show them I'm here for you. So the same thing we have to realize it's a relationship with the Kadosh Baruch Hu. A lot of times you can get into the mentality of no, my relationship with Hashem, my relationship with Hashem is like a like a like an Amazon membership, God forbid, right? Okay, I give you mincha. I uh, came to the lecture, so where is the parnasa? I need to buy a house. Oh, I came and I gave a donation to the Kolel. So, uh, Baruch Hu, you have to give me a fash lemat, uh, you have to give me, uh, this, uh, deal to should go through. I, I gave you, I paid you my membership. Where's the two day delivery? So, God forbid, the person can have a mentality like this, to have a, to have a relationship with Hashem like this, that's a business deal. Oh, would you, give me this gulot, you know, give me this, I, 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 what is the, what is a good school for that? The point is that we, Hashem holds us back from achieving and getting all these things we want many times. For us to go and come closer to him, to do more mitzvot, to accept on ourselves more, that way we come closer automatically to him, and then we will get all we, all everything we need automatically. You know, there's a we said that why is the guy who sells himself as a slave, if he stays past the sixth year, he gets a hole in his ear. Why? Why does he get punished? He, he didn't have money. He sold himself as a slave. He has nowhere to go. Answer with the chidush sherim said was, why do you think you have to make yourself a slave to this guy in order for to have You should have made yourself more of an Eved Hashem. If you make Hashem your Eved, if you're master, and as Allah is, the master has to pay for everything for the Eved. One pillow, who gets it? The Eved gets the pillow. So if you would have made yourself more of an Eved Hashem, Hashem would have automatically provided for you. But you think that you have to be Eved to this guy, so that what? 
That's why you have to get a hole in the ear. So therefore, a person has to realize that when a person has, wants to have a relationship with the Shavaruch Hu, like Shurub Shum Bar Yochai said, why the Jews in the man get man every day, not a man and month of front? Because he wanted a relationship with them. He wanted every day, to, every day for them to talk to him. Every day for them to look with him, not towards him. So therefore, such a person has to realize that Akadosh Baruch Hu wants to have a relationship with you. He wants, he loves you. And he wants you to, to feel you, the, that you also love him. That you also go out of your way for him. He does so much for you. You should definitely do for him. And a person has to realize this is why we should go and fill all the mitzvot properly according to all the halachot and not feel like we're doing a favor. It's annoying. Rather, we have to realize we're doing it for ourselves. Don't, don't do it for, 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 for a favor. Do it for your creator. Baruch